Stay tuned and let's take a look at this Marvel Legends Retro Fantastic Four Human Torch. Pow and welcome back to the channel Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Quite simply show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today we are taking a look at this Marvel Legends Hasbro Pulse exclusive retro Fantastic Four Human Torch. Now the box says Human Torch, but this is essentially Johnny Storm when he's not flamed on. And you're gonna have to pick this guy up if you wanna complete the Fantastic Four team in those classic blue and white uniforms. So obviously I had to get this along with the original Rate Wave. And they are called Retro Figures because they are a throwback to these Retro Fantastic Four figures from the 90s. Just like the Spider-Man line, there was a toy line in the 90s and Hasbro are doing a sort of an homage to these classic sort of five inch Toy Biz figures, but now in our six inch format and I love it. I did a full comparison of this compared to the other exclusive, which is of course Invisible Woman on the channel right now. So if you wanna go and see that review, go and watch that. Let me move all these out of the way. Today is of course about this guy, Johnny Storm, Human Torch in the packaging, some flame on effects, some nice flames on his hand as well and interchangeable fists, which I always appreciate. The pack Packaging is beautiful. Make sure you buy two. One to open, one to display. On the back, we get all the other figures in the wave, which are the normal wave, not the exclusive. So the only one that's not here is the Invisible Woman we've just shown. Uh, we get, again, this is a throwback to that original card. We get a little Royal of the Reeds. Firing and hot-headed, the Human Torch can burn through just about any adversary with a smile. So yeah, this is very nice. Comes in a nice shipper box as well, so you don't sort of ruin the card if you want to keep it mint to display, which as I said, I advise doing because this is beautiful. It's better than wallpaper, right? Uh, but still, I also want the figure that's inside. So let's get him open. And here we have the Human Torch out of the packaging. However, I'm going to refer to him as Johnny from now on. I hope you don't mind. So he comes with an interchangeable set of fisted hands without a flame effect on. These effect pieces we've seen before many times, but they do the job. They just wrap around the wrists and they're in like a fiery orange that matches this piece that will sit over his shoulder. So you can sort of add some more flame on effects as well. So as you can see, the figure in the box comes straight out with these flamed effects on the fist as well so you can sort of show him off on the shelf with some flame on or flame off which we will get into in a minute but first let's zoom in and check out that face sculpt so I think this is a nice head sculpt for Johnny I like how it sort of looks like he's smiling and he's got a little bit of a smirk on because he's a bit of a troublemaker in the comics but it is the same head sculpt that we got on the previous Dan Slot version of Johnny Storm just with a few paint detail updates but before I do a comparison let's just remind people I like that he's got the blue eyes that matches the uniform and then the blonde hair does have a little bit of darker wash in there, like an orangey wash to bring out the sculpt because there is some nice sculpted detail in the hair, but it is sort of just swept to one side. The eyebrows are a lot more subtler compared to the previous one. And I'll show you what I mean if I bring in this other one. So there you go, there's your side by side. So different skin tones, of course, but you can see how the Dan Slut one had different color eyebrows to, the to, uh, to his hair, which shouldn't have been the case because he doesn't dye his hair, Johnny. So yeah, that was a bit odd. But as you can see, side by side, they are the exact same face sculpt, just with different deco. So I'm sure we have to swap these heads around if we want to, and uh, you can pick your favorite. But uh, I quite like this new one. I just think the tones uh, are nicer on the figure. A bit more vibrant, if you will, but it matches the uniform, so I like it. And talking about the uniform, it is now the classic blue and white. The one that we have been wanting from the get-go. But of course, in true toy industry fashion, it was the last version they give us. So we had to buy the other ones if we wanted to get our Fantastic Four fix. But uh, I like how when they give us Johnny, it's not on the bookie cap. He is on a more athletic body. As you can see, this is the one that has the butterfly joints on the front and on the back. So you can get him in some nice ranges for flying and whatnot if you want to but because he's in his normal ff uniform uh, i think i'm just going to have him a bit incognito on the ground but still nice to have him in a more musclier athletic body different to 
read, of course. But uh, you can see how the paint, if I zoom back in, you can see how the, the sort of paint, the white collar, is cutting through uh, the butterfly joints. So when you articulate it, there is some white paint, but it will, uh, the more you move it, sort of make it mismatch. But uh, again, I, I don't mind it. What could you do, really? What could you do? Um, but yeah, that's there. At least I painted it white rather than leaving it. But worthy of note, the white uh, and the, the black four is nice and crisp, very easy to read. Uh, he's got a white belt, but that is just painted on. That isn't a separate belt piece, but it does use it to cut up uh, the waist swivel, of course. Uh, the arms are all blue, down to the gloves, which are white. Uh, the, these Both of these hands actually have a sculpted piece of fire attached. And we've seen these hands before, just in the flame on hands. Uh, but now they've got white, uh, so we have gloves with a little bit of flame. And we do have interchangeable hands, I'll show you in a minute. Spinning around, he's got the blue trousers, black uh, black, white boots, with the boots swiveled, of course, at the cut as well, and then decent ankle rocker, double jointed knees, kick his ass, uh, yes he can, of course he can, so great body mould for uh, Johnny, I think, to be fair, and I do like the blue and the white, this is the uniform, uh, this is my mind's eye version of the Fantastic Four, when it comes to representing characters on the shelf, I always want my mind's eye version, not that I dislike any of the other versions, but uh, having this in hand, it definitely pops, uh, it's very crisp, and I think the team all together in this uniform are going to look very nice as well. So, as I said, he comes out of the box with a flame on hand, just to sort of give you a tease, a little tease of Johnny's abilities. But, if you don't want to tease those abilities, we can swap those out. Set of fisted hands, as all Marvel Legends should do as standard, but this allows you to have Johnny in his uniform without any flame on effects, which I appreciate for options on the display. Uh, and again, really like the look of this uniform now. Uh, I like this a lot. Um, so, if you do want to display him with a hint of his flame on abilities, we do get more accessories, which I've already showed you, but uh, let's take a closer look. We get this piece, just a translucent piece of plastic in this orangey uh, colour that sits over the neck piece. So, like, zoom in here. It literally just rests over his neck. That is not falling off. It's on there nicely. And it doesn't even peg in. Like, if I show you, there is a hole for, the, for a peg, but there is no peg on this piece. It literally just sits hugs over the shoulder and it gives you sort of a hot shouldery effect, uh, which is nice. We also get these pieces that we've seen with Legends before. We get two of these. We've had these in many, many colours. These are made of a nice translucent, softer plastic that you can wrap around the fists. So utilising these and the interchangeable hands that come with Johnny, uh, we can add some more flame on. And there you go. Now he's got all those flame effects on, wrapped around the wrists with the flame on the hands. And again, you have options for the display. So again, I like that you can sort of display Johnny with a with a hint, a hint. So he's, he's about ready to go into full flame on mode. And of course, because you've already got a little bit of fire on his wrists, you could also use these pieces to wrap around his legs to sort of suggest he's about to uh, flame on and light up. So again, lots of options there. And I keep saying options because again, we've had so many versions of the Fantastic Four in recent years. There are exactly that. So if I bring in some other Johnnies, Let's see what else we can do. See, here we have three versions of the Human Torch. This one here is the very original Walgreens exclusive, fantastic for Johnny Storm, all flamed on, of course. And uh, as you can see, those hands are the same. They're just repainted, so they've got the white gloves. But uh, yeah, it's the same hands from that figure. And then, of course, we've got the Dan Slot version here in the darker uniforms. And this one also has a hint of the flame on ability, as it has full flame on hands, which I'm sure we could use to mix and match in a minute. But just to give a full impression of our options for Johnny Storm, here you go. And of course, in this very fantastic full retro wave, we get another flamed on version of Johnny Storm that doesn't have the four logo on the chest. And I do think that the face matches the rest of the body better. Hopefully I'll have that very soon, thanks to iComic Industries. So make sure you stick around on the channel as I will do a comparison when that arrives, of course. But let's just move him to the side. And again, there you go. He's about ready to flame on. But uh, I want to see if this hand would also go on this one. Yes, of course it does. So if you want to use that fully on fire translucent orange hand that came with the previous version, you can, of course, plug it onto this one as well. So you can really have him fully flamed, sort of flamed, teasing it or incognito. Complete up to you. And because we have so many versions of the Fantastic Four now, three full different versions with different uniforms, each one can be a little bit different, which I, which I appreciate. But there you go. But uh, just one last time. I wanted to see this comparison. So Johnny Storm in his Fantastic Four, classic looking uniform, and then a fully 
flamed on from the Walgreens exclusive. So of course, we're gonna get a different one of these very soon as well, but uh, still, it's nice to see the alternative. So that's the same character, of course, just with his different abilities. So I like it. And I know the uniforms don't match, but I wanted to see how Johnny looked like compared to the rest of the Fantastic Four, at least in a lineup. So here we have the previous release, Dan Slot darker iterations. I will get the new ones very soon, so make sure you stick around for that. But uh, yeah, it's great to see the team together. The only other figure I have from this retro Fantastic Four wave so far is the other exclusive. His sister in her fully translucent form it is, of course, the Invisible Woman looking very nice together, I must admit. So make sure you go and check out the videos tab and go and check out my full review of the Invisible Woman right now. Here we have Johnny Storm compared to a couple of other Fantastic Four related characters with Kang the Conqueror and She-Hulk. And then last, but certainly by no means not least, here we have Johnny Storm, the Human Torch, compared to Worthy Hellfire Hank and Captain Britain. So Final Force as he spins round on the rotating base, I'm very happy to finally be getting my mind's eye version of the Fantastic Four to add to the collection, as we have got plenty of options now for when it comes to displays, but the one sort of look I wanted for the Fantastic Four was the white and the blue. That's why I'm showing him off here without any of his flame on effects, because for me, it's just about having that classic team in their classic uniform represented on the shelf. So I have got plenty of options now with the other teams to use a flame on Johnny or some of the flame dot pieces that this figure came with uh, but for me I'm just happy to get this uniform and I appreciate that it's not the same body mold as a uh, Reed Richards as well because that just wouldn't make sense now would it so uh, very happy to have that I'm happy to have this figure looking forward to getting the rest of this retro wave now as well it's just that dilemma where am I buying two of each do I need to display them because I really like them I'm not gonna lie but you tell me what you think in the comments below most importantly and if you like Marvel Legends reviews then I think you're in the right place. Go and check out the videos tab, find out for yourself, but most importantly, stick around, live streams, all that good stuff. Please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Much, much appreciated. You can also hit that join button, become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. And again, members clubs get to come on the channel and be a guest on my live streams. It's a magical thing. Uh, follow me on Instagram, it's Dan Who. And I'm on Twitter as well, Dan Who Reviews. Tweet me, people, don't be shy. But as always, I'm here talking toys and I will, of course, see you on the next one.